Hey, I'm just Vosco and we're back in the catch carp and course and we've traveled all the way to Spain. Look how beautiful it is. It's actually half past six in the morning here. And how do I know that? Because there is a giant clock tower in the middle of this lake that tells me that. Now, we've got the same lines out that we used in the last video. We've got line three over there, line one and two in here. I might actually move number one slightly because it looks like that's been hit at some point. So let's bring in number one. I've been having a bit of play on this lake and in this location I seem to hit quite a few barbels which is really nice. I'm hoping to hit a couple more so I can show you some of the beautiful barbels on here. Um, so this is, I just thought I'd introduce you to my setup. This is where I'm fishing right under this, this giant clock. I've got a little radar thing in the top left corner. I don't actually know, there's lots of fish swimming around on it so I presume that means there's fish in the area. But I don't actually know, does it tell me where or is this directly under the boat? No idea. I'm on a boat by the way. Yeah, we went for a boat ride. Not very far, I started over there and then I came to here. So it wasn't that far at all. So yes, I'm gonna sit here for a couple of hours and hopefully catch some nice fish. I'll bring you back when we get a bite. So we've got a bite on number two, so let's uh, try and... Oh, come here. See, sometimes it's just, it just likes to be a pain. And uh, If you look at my bar, the orange bar down the, the left-hand side just determines like the life of the catch, basically. If that gets to the end, the line breaks and we lose the fish. And I haven't actually done anything so far, and it's already at that point. That's probably because I didn't pick it up in time. I wanted to get recording just in case it was a nice fish uh, let's put let's tighten the reel up a bit get a bit more on it this seems quite small oh he's going he's going ho 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 I reckon we may have a barbel possibly come on There we go, let's have a look what we've got. We have got a barbel, a really nice barbel. Look at that. I do love them. I think they're really nice looking fish. Uh, that's a 12 pound, six ounce common fish and we caught that on cheese. So let's put him back in the water and we're gonna, oh, number one's on the go. So before we can get line two in, let's go and grab number one. There we go, we've got him on, he's hooked anyway at least, that's one thing. Now we just have to get him in. No, don't go behind the clock tower. Don't, okay. Please come back from behind the clock tower. Oh, he's got it. Is that it, have I lost him now? Oh, here he comes, we got him back out, it's a miracle. Right, let's bring him in a bit closer. If this is, barbels seem to just take off when you, you get a bite on them. So I'm going to guess this is probably another barbel. I may be wrong. I actually haven't played enough of this game to sort of learn what's, what bites what. These, that actually doesn't look like a barbel in all fairness. What have we got here? Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's a carp. We've got a nice little carp there. He is a diddly little thing. That's 11 pound 13 ounces common carp. So we'll pop him back in, we'll reset all our rods. Or we will we will do number three, because we seem to have a hit on there now as well. Come on. Out you come, don't go behind there. They, they're obsessed with going behind that clock tower. I suppose if I was a fish on the end of that line, that would be where exactly where I'd dart to. Oh right, yeah, come on then, straight behind the clock tower in the circle. You'd never get me then. This one's actually just staying out there quite a long time. It's not actually doing a great deal at all. I'm, I have no idea what's on the end of this line. Putting up a good fight, whatever it is. Did we get a glimpse at it then? No, we did not. Or if we did, I missed it. Come on. In you come. 
Oh. He's putting up a fight. Here we go. I think we I think we're getting him now. Nope, don't pull. Thank you. Come back this way. Another carp, is that? Yep, yeah, we got another carp. A nicer carp, if you ask me. That's a much nicer looking carp. Nice little mirror carp there. I say little, that's £22. That's massive compared to what I used to catch. Mine were never in double figures. I'd like to point out I was not that good a fisherman. Uh, so let's put him back. I'm going to reset my lines and then as we get some more bites, I'll bring you back again. So let's... Well, let's reset the lines first. So what have we got here? We've got line three. So I'm going to send line three over that way. We're going to just drop it as close to that clock tower as possible. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice little spot. We'll leave that one there. We're going to grab rod one, please. Oh, my God. We've, oh, never mind. We've got... <laughs> really? We've got a bite on three already. Come on, in you come. Might help if I actually reel. Sometimes there's like this delay between picking up the rod and actually reeling. It's almost like it won't register it until it's at a certain point in your hand. There we go. He's coming in really easy. He's only a diddler. Is that like a tiny little... I've absolutely no idea. Again, I haven't actually learnt what fish are what at the moment. Come on. In you come, you little diddler. What have we got? Oh, we got a nice little chub. I wasn't expecting that. That's quite a chunky chub. Three pound and six ounces. Wow. Let's try and get some rods in the water without getting a bite this time then. So we're, we're going to put um, number three back out there. And we'll pop that one over that way. Did I hit? I'm sure I hit the clock tower then. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Um, maybe not so close to the clock tower. There we go. Go that direction. And try not to get... Let me get the other two rods in the water first. So we're going to get rod number one. And we'll get that one in over there, I think. Now, ideally, these rod, my setup isn't suited for this area because it's all silt around here. And I've only got one rod which is set up for silt. But it doesn't seem to be making much difference. I am still catching on all three rods, as you just witnessed. So let's go and get this one in here. And hopefully we can get some more barbel because I really do enjoy catching the barbel. And that one's in place there as well. Excellent. So now we've got all three in. Can I see all three on the screen? No, I can't. Okay, well, if anything interesting happens, I'll bring you back. And we've got a bite on number two. So let's quickly try and get that hooked because that took me ages to pick up that rod then. Well, this one's really pulling on the line. Let's, let's loosen the reel a bit. There we go. That seems like a nice little balance. Now we just got to wait to tire him out and bring him in. Hmm. Looking at that orange bar, we could actually lose this one. Don't go behind there. Please don't go behind there. Come back this way. He really does not want to come in. Hey, you're going to come in eventually. It, I tell you what, normally when I lose the fish is when they get closer to me. I can sort of hold off the inevitable until they get closer. And then they just, they just sort of see me and run a mile, basically. And then snap, the line just goes. But this is going okay so far. Number one has got a fish on as well. Typical, it happens all at the same time. Look, <laughs> That would just be a nightmare right now. The line's getting all tangled up and things like that, but it's fine. We're, we're just going to... I knew he was going to bolt. Look, come on.
He's getting closer. Here he comes. Did we get him? What have we got? Look at that for a barbel. That is beautiful. I'm really happy with that. 13 pounds and 10 ounces. We don't actually have that much time to look at him. Can I take a photo? Uh, take a screenshot. There we go. Lovely. Um, no. I need to get line one. Um, hello? This one is not putting up half the fight the other one was. So this is... Oh, wait. Yes, it is. It's a different fight, though. This thing's bombing around. I don't reckon this is a barbel. Or if it is, it's a small one. No, I reckon this is more carp with the fight it's putting up. I might be wrong. They might all fight the same. I'm just trying to see if there is some difference between species. It is a small barbel. There we go. Okay, if you want to catch barbel on this game, this is the place to come. They, they just, it's just barbel after barbel after barbel. There we go. That's a nice little baby one there. Let's get our lines back in. We're going to put number one back over that way, like so. Jump. There it goes. We will also get line two back in, is it? Yes. Can I have line two, please? Thank you very much. And we're going to put that one in between the clock tower and number one. That seems to be a good location for it. And hopefully we'll get a couple more barbel. Like a really big barbel. That's what I'm after. A really big one that puts up a really good fight. It might be unlikely in this location. I don't actually know the locations. I think... As I said in the last episode, there are boss fish, and I think they're more likely in certain areas, but I'm not really sure. I've seen, I've watched a few YouTube videos, um, Titch World, who I've mentioned before. Uh, oh, number three's on the go. He's been catching some bosh fish, uh, bo bosh fish? Bo boss fish, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, so... So yeah, um, if you haven't checked out Titch World, go over and have a look. He does some really good fishing videos. And he's quite in the knowledge where to find things and that. I was watching him on live stream last night. And he's just banging fish out left, right and centre. I'm still very much learning, but I, I'm quite happy with my little setup of three rods at the moment. They seem to be working quite nicely for me. Like, there's so many different baits and setups you can use, but I, I, I seem to quite enjoy using these basic ones. They're probably not ideal for catching the big, big fish. Um, but that's alright, because I'm not... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm not at the stage where I'm going to be catching the big, big fish. This is this is like my second outing into the, this fishing world. Uh, oh, please don't. I think this is a barbel from the fight it's putting up, maybe. Possibly. It's not. It's a big old fat carp. Look at that. Yeah, I'm rubbish again what, guessing what these fish are, as you can tell. So let's put this one back in. This is £14.8. ounces. We do have a fish on number one, so we've got to quickly get over to number one. Uh, number one, please. Thank you very much. Barbels seem to be more com common on this side, so I'm hoping we have a barbel over here. I do like the barbel. I think they're a really nice looking fish. Like I've seen some of the fish people are bringing in on this game, like catfish and that, and they're just massive. I couldn't imagine in real life catching a fish that big. <laughs> this fish is obsessed with going behind that tower. Is it act? It's gone all the way around. How has my line gone through the tower? I'm a wee bit confused how it managed to go through the tower. I'm glad it did, otherwise we'd, we'd, we'd be quite stuck. Okay, so let's try and get it in a bit closer. There we go. Tiny little barbel for us. There's some really nice little baby barbel in here. 
And I say baby, you this is six pound ten ounces. I'd be quite happy with that if I went out fishing and caught one of those. So pop him back in, reset the lines, and hopefully we'll find a couple more before the end of the episode. So what have I got here? I've got rod one here. So we're gonna go and put you back over there. There a bit, I think. And you can go in that side, and then we'll put number three back the other side of the clock tower. And then hopefully we can get a few more bites within this episode. And I'd like to point out, I haven't actually lost a fish yet. I'm so, I'm so proud of myself. I know, it's nothing to be proud of, and I've probably just jinxed myself. But so far, I've got them. Is that right? Have I got them all in? Maybe I haven't. I can't remember. There's too much excitement with all these fish coming in. Okay, so we got all the lines set back up. I will bring you back for the last couple of fish before the end of the episode. Okay, we've got a hit on number three over the back there. I'd imagine he's going to be go behind the clock tower, which he has. Let's see if we can encourage him out from behind there. Come on! No, you're going to go right behind it, are you? Is that how you're going to do it? Oh, here he comes. He's out from behind there, which is nice. Now we've just got to reel him in very gently. Might tighten the reel up a little bit. Get some pull on it. There we go. Lovely. I think this is a little one. Took off at first, but it doesn't seem to be putting up much of a fight at the moment. I'm gonna say he's probably gonna get close to the boat and then shoot. There we go. I'm still not... No, tighten that up. And now we just bring it in very slow. No, he doesn't want to come in. No. Oh. Just got to wait for he's to least tired. What have we got here? A little garble? No, big carp. Big old carp. And we've got an 11 pound 4 ounce um, common carp. Common fish. We got on the tuna match boily. And that gave us a few more points, which is nice. I'm slowly building up my points. So let's send this one back out over that way. Hopefully we're not going to hit the clock tower like we did last time. There we go. Get that one back into position. And away we go. Check the other two lines. Everyone's fine. Oh, number two. We're on number two. No, no, don't. I'm not even. Oh my god, this thing just doesn't want to come in. It's like, ah, whoosh. Fish on, it says, but oh, number one's going as well. Of course, one's going, and one's gone. It's not even on the screen anymore, it's just gone. Can you come in, please? He really wants to head to that bank. Don't go behind the clock tower. <laughs> I could just see number one flying around in the corner of my view there. He's going to have to wait though. No, no. No. This one's putting up a good fight. I reckon this has to be a barbel. The barbels fight really well. Wow. The small experience I've got catching barbels in real life. Barbels fight really well. You're all going to go straight into the middle of that clock tower, are you? My line as well. Just magically walk through it. Oh, no. 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 Okay. Well, that one's gone. Let's see if we can get number one in at least. No, don't strain the hook. You're in there as well. They're obsessed with getting into that clock tower. 
I don't, is this a real location, this big lake with a clock tower in the middle of it? If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. That would be lovely. That fish, that one we've just lost, just wasn't budging. First he tried to get out onto the bank and run away, and then he just went into the middle of that clock tower and that was it. Oh, I think this is a much smaller fish. This is coming far too easy. Far too easy. There we go, it's a little barbel. Still quite a good size, I'd still be happy with that. Uh, that's £9.13 ounces and we got that on Sweet Corn Single. Sweet Corn seems to do really well with a barbel. So I'm going to cast that one back out. Is number three going as well? Wait, uh, put you down. Is number three going? Yes, yes it is. Oh. He's gone a long way out. Come on, come a bit closer. He's like, ah, no, don't want to. Definitely don't want to come any closer. Wow, he really doesn't want to come towards us. But it is just sitting so it... It's not straining the hook too much. It's just at that point. Balancing nicely on there. We need to encourage him to swim towards us. Let's try and pull our rod up a bit and encourage him this way. Yeah, that seems to be working well. He is coming. Slowly but surely. He did have plenty of time to run around though, so I'd imagine he's a bit tired. He's going to be even more tired after this fight. He's still holding his own very nicely. We've just got to take our time and not rush it. I find that rush it, trying to rush them in is when I lose them. So I'm just going to sit here taking my time, slowly reeling it in. He is coming in slowly, he's getting there. I can't hear any of our buzzes going off, so the other lines I don't think have got any fish on at the moment, which is, I say other lines, I think there's only one out there at the moment, which there is. Number one is the only line we've got out at the minute. Oh, this is where he's going to be. Come on, let's have a look what you are going all the way over there. Oh, aha, I'll put my rod down very quickly and dramatically. Look at that for a beautiful carp. Nice little common carp, I want to say. Yeah, common carp, £26, 5 ounces, and we got that on the tuna match boily. So yeah, to the right of to the right of the clock tower, I seem to be picking up carp, and then to the left, very much barbel. So let's get you back out. I'm gonna set my rods back up and probably leave this episode here for the for today. Um, wait, 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 wait. We've got a fish on number three already. Wait. Where? where is he? Oh, there. I thought he went behind the clock tower for a minute. This must be a chub or something. Something small that's just gone. Yep, mine, bosh. Yeah, it's coming in far too easy. Definitely a chub. Got it on the drop. There we go. Beautiful. That's the way to finish an episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It really does help the channel. And until next time, I'll see you again.